Donald Trump has admitted now twice that he lost the election and MAGA is melting down. He's admitting, he says, oh, I lost by a whisker. So what was the point? Like, what's the point of any of it? You lost in 2020? Seriously? I mean, what are we even doing anymore? Then you're a loser. Then you're, you're a loser. You just lost. Then you lost to Joe Biden. You deserve to be charged. If you... If he admits that he lost, then that actually vindicates the DOD, or, or I'm sorry, the uh, DOJ charge against him. Because the charge is that he knew he lost, but he lied to defraud the people. That's the, that's the DOJ's charge. I absolutely love this clip from Nick Fuentes. He's a disgusting person, but this clip is absolutely spectacular because you see the torture in his soul. He is absolutely devastated that Donald Trump is no longer sustaining the big lie. At first, when I watched it, I thought, hmm, maybe, maybe Nick is coming to the terms with the fact that he's been lied to. But I thought about it just a little bit longer. Nick is smart enough to have known that this was a lie all of the time. And he's only really frustrated because Donald Trump can no longer sustain the lie. He beat us by a whisker. Lost by a whisker. So why did we do Stop the Steal? Why did anyone go to January 6th? Why is anyone sitting in jail? Absolutely, Nick. What is the point? Why did all of those hundreds of people have to go to jail for Donald Trump's lie? Why did Ashley Babbitt have to die for Donald Trump's lie? Why did all of those Capitol Police officers have to get assaulted because of Donald Trump's lie? And what Nick is essentially saying is that if Donald Trump can't sustain the lie, then he might as well go to jail. Yes. Yes, he should. And in fact, from the looks of things today, that might actually be the case. Donald Trump perpetuated one of the greatest lies in American history to the point of destabilizing our democracy nearly to the point of no return. And it's only because Donald Trump is getting so old and he has had probably COVID so many times that the cognitive decline have, has accelerated. He can no longer sustain the lies. And so he's inadvertently telling the truth. Yes, Donald Trump lost the 2020 election. And there's so many people who have wrapped their entire personas, their personalities, their careers, their political campaigns around supporting Donald Trump's lie so that now when the head honcho in charge of the lie can no longer sustain it. Yeah, it makes all of MAGA look like morons. It makes every single one of these people who has nearly destroyed the American democratic experiment on behalf of the lie, it makes you look as foolish as you really are. Why did anything bad happen to anybody? Why did everyone get censored? Why is everything bad that has happened to the people that are involved, why did that need to happen if you're just gonna walk it all back and say, oh, I lost? Well, it would have been good to know that. And the fact that Donald Trump, out of all the people who are actually in jail because of Donald Trump, Donald Trump has not spent a day in jail yet as a result of the big lie. That is the salt in the open wound. Every January 6th defendant and everyone that's incarcerated currently, you have to absolutely be so disgusted with the fact that your life has been completely usurped because you chose to follow the lie of your leader who can't even sustain the lie anymore. 10 or 12 million votes more than that, more than anybody had ever got. We got the most votes of anybody, of any sitting president in history. And he beat us by a whisker. I don't think Donald Trump is, is all of a sudden having, having a, a change of heart. I, I, don't, I don't think that he's, you know, like a lot of people when they get up in age, they try to start living, changing their life and, 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 and not doing what they did when they were younger, even though this was just four years ago. No, Donald Trump's brain is completely cooked. He should never have been anywhere near the White House, but he certainly cannot go back to the White House, not only because he's a traitor to the United States of America, but also because he's not even capable of sustaining his primary lie, the lie that gives life 
to the entire in the entirety of the MAGA movement. The, the lie that gives him the justification for every single one of his fundraising emails, for every single one of the individuals who sacrificed their careers for him. He had to sustain this lie all the way until he got back in power and his brain is just like, nope, I give up. Lost by a whisker. This is the thing about lies, right? This is absolutely the truth about lies. It takes a lot more energy to sustain a lie than it does the truth. If you tell the truth, you don't have to constantly keep track of all your lies. And now Donald Trump's brain can't keep track of the lies. And it is absolutely spectacular because of how much damage this moron has done to this nation as a result of his ego. Donald Trump's ego, Donald Trump's pride, is the very thing that was big enough to nearly destroy this country. And in fact, we're not out of the woods yet. There's still a possibility that this convicted felon can get reelected. And despite getting convicted, despite getting sentenced, he could still become the next president of the United States, which is not only a problem because of him, but it's absolutely a problem because of everyone who has surrounded him. Every person that has repeated the big lie, every person that has built their entire campaign and their political careers off the big lie. All of these people know that he's lying and they have decided to get in lockstep with the lie because it advances their careers. It advances their finances. It makes them money to sustain the big lie. And now the head nacho, <laughs> the head honcho can't even sustain it anymore. Lost by a whisker. Here's what's going to happen. There's going to be very few people with, and 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 I can't believe I'm even even saying this, right? I I don't I don't really think that Nick Fuentes has integrity, right? But at least he's consistent in his argumentation, right? He's going he he he's consistent here. He's he's saying that because Trump can't sustain the lie, it has really nullified it has made void it has made every effort that they have given him over the last four years it's made it all in vain but maga is so insidious the 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 true spirit of maga is so so downright just repugnant that they will look at donald trump admitting that he lost and they will ignore that and the rest of MAGA will just continue marching to the drumbeat of the big lie, even though Donald Trump has confessed that he lost to Joe Biden. 10 or 12 million votes more than that, more than anybody had ever got. We get the most votes of anybody, of any sitting president in history. And he beat us by a whisker. Lost by a whisker. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe to this channel, Really American, where we've been calling out the big lie since its inception.